Hello everyone, Dr. Ziya Tahir here. This tutorial is about 2D steady state conduction and convection heat transfer through plate. And this is the problem which I am going to solve using a backus. And this problem is modified version of a problem from this book, a first course in finite element analysis and chapter 13 heat transfer and mass transfer 13.25 so this is a problem which i have modified slightly so so that will make more sense so square two dimensional plate shown in the figure has a thermal conductivity of 15 watt per meter degree celsius the top surface is maintained at 250 degree celsius the left Face is maintained at 40 degrees Celsius, and two other faces are exposed to an environmental free stream temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and convective heat transfer coefficient of 60 watt per meter square per degree Celsius. Determine the temperature at the center of the plate and plot temperature distribution from top to bottom passing through the center. This one is an advanced version of steady state conduction through plate which you can watch in another of video so that is steady state heat transfer conduction only that is the same uh, problem but with the conduction so that is for conduction only and this one is for conduction and convection so here are steps to solve this problem in a backus. So three main parts of that. The first one is modeling, then analysis, and then visualization of results. So before, uh, you need to make sure that units are consistent, dimension in meter, and thermal conductivity in watt per meter per degree Celsius temperature in degree Celsius and heat transfer coefficient in watt per meter square per degree Celsius. So these are the modeling steps. So first I'll do modeling. And before that, it's necessary to set work directory. So I have a folder of chapter 13 here. So I want to set this one as work directory. So this is a backus 2020 version and I'll go file set work directory. So it's chapter 13. Now everything is being saved there. So that is I have set work directory. So the first step is to create part. So for that part, it is a plate. Its dimensions are one meter and one meter. So the first step to create part and is a shell planer. So in a backus here you can create part. It is 2D deformable shell and approximate size I'm taking here as let's say three. Two. So that two is the uh, almost uh, double of that, whatever is the maximum dimension. Continue. And then it can be drawn uh, like here is the that is the region, and then one and one, and that is triangle uh, rectangle has been created. So I can add dimensions to that to make sure that I've all. So that is one meter and then the other one is also one meter so that is drawn so that is now part created once part created the next one is to create surfaces so why the surfaces are required and to apply temperature and then thermal uh, coefficient of heat transfer so now two surfaces 
they are subjected to that uh, free stream temperature so these two surfaces so here in the part module you can go tools and then surface so create a surface and you can name it as so right and bottom surface continue so i'll select that one right and then bottom so done and here in the part in surfaces it's right and bottom so that surfaces two surfaces have been created now the next is to create sets and using geometry type to apply temperature so temperature is being applied on the top and then left surface so two sets need to be created here so here are the sets so i right click on that so that is top edge let's say so top edge and then here is the geometry for the top edge so done and that top edge set is being created now i can so that is another option i can create a set like that is left edge continue and this one done so that left edge that is top edge and then the surfaces so for conduction and convection like if you have only temperature so then you need to create set and if you have temperature and then uh, convective heat transfer so then you need to create surface okay so after creating set then next step is to create bottom plane or create partition why is that required because determine temperature at the center of the plate and to plot temperature distribution from top to bottom using passing through the center so this one uh, partition is required so that uh, for the selection of that nodes it will be easy so then in the part module here you have option for here that is create daughter okay and then otherwise here tools daughter create a daughter plane midway between two points and then those midway between two points like midway between these two points so you can see that one daughter has been created and then the other one is being created here okay so now in the feature i can see that this is the the first one datum plane there and that is the second one now i want to create partition along that vertical plane and for that one here you have option for creating partition or otherwise tool create partition face using a datum plane and then that is being created okay the only purpose of this one is to plot temperature distribution and then it can be easily find like central node okay so now the next one next step is to create material after in the property module and for material thermal conductivity is 15 so property module create material material 1 as it is conductivity is 15 okay and then once material has been created then the next one is create section and assign section so for that purpose that is a create section so it is solid homogeneous continue and that the material is one okay and then this one is assign section so select that one no need to create set done and then section has been assigned otherwise you have option here for section assignment and you can see here that the section has been assigned so once section has been assigned the next one is to mesh seed assign mesh control mesh part and assign element type okay so again here i have mesh so that one or otherwise here double click on the mesh 
and that's the first one mesh part so it says that point 0.1 so point 0.1 is a course one so i am going for point 0.05 let's say okay so with that 0.5 and then the next one is assign mesh control so select the region to assign mesh control then it is quadratic free and medial axis okay and then here okay to part mesh and then assign element type so select that all done and then family is first we transfer then standard linear quadratic bc2 d4 so that one is done so now the mesh is done now the next one again i need to create set node type and what's net why is that necessary that is I want to uh, find temperature at the center of the plate. So one node uh, set for center and then from one from top to bottom. So I can double click on that set. So, and then type is node. So that is center node. Continue. I'll select it from the center, so it's done. And here you can see that center node set is being created. Otherwise, I go tool and then uh, so part and then tool and then set create set and this time node from top to bottom. So top to bottom nodes continue and then this one I am going to select that one so it's done so now four set are being created two are geometry type and two are node now once set has been created the next one is assembly and in assembly create instance so here you can go into assembly module and create instance from there or otherwise otherwise here in the assembly module so and create instance so okay that is being created and once so assembly has been created then the next one is create step and step is heat transfer so here in the step so that is create step or otherwise here double click on that so that is heat transfer Okay, here you have heat transfer, so continue and steady state. Done. So now set step is being created, which is heat transfer. Next step is in the load module, create boundary condition, temperature. So these, this one is only for temperature on these two sides. So top is 250 and the left is 2. So boundary conditions and then that is top edge heat transfer step is heat transfer temperature and the top is i have here set for that top so top edge geometry which is being selected and then 250 for that and then here you can see i can double click on that to show it and then boundary condition again it is left edge continue and i will select left edge geometry from here this one is selected and then it's 40. okay so once the boundary condition uh, temperature as boundary condition has been assigned now i'll go interaction create interaction and to apply temperature and convective heat transfer coefficient and that is surface cooling condition so here is an interaction and that is a create interaction or here is option of create interaction so interaction is one int one heat transfer and then here you have surface film condition so continue and i have that right and bottom surface for that so continue and then here film coefficient that is convective heat transfer coefficient and that film coefficient is 60 watt per 
meter square per degree Celsius and the temperature is 40. So that is 60 and then sink temperature is 40. Okay, and you can see that it is being assigned to right and bottom surface. So now once now the modeling part is done. So once the modeling part is done, then the next part is analysis. And for analysis, job need to be created, data check applied, and then to submit that. Okay, so its name, model name, I'm going to model, uh, rename that. Rename plate, convection and conduction and CC conduction and convection. And I'm going to save that, save as, so chapter 13. Plate, conduction convection, okay, and then job. So I am going to give it name plate CC, continue, okay, and then data check, yes. So data check will be completed quickly. It's running and then It's completed, there's no error, so I will submit it. Okay, so I'll submit it, it will take some time to complete. The job is completed, and then next step is in results, visualization, common plot options. So for results, right click here and you'll get results. Okay, other and you can see here that is plate CC. Otherwise, file open plate CC and it's being opened. So here you have the form shape of the gradient and then heat flux and then that is the temperature nodal temperature profile. So that is nodal temperature and then that is reaction flux. Okay, so nodal temperature is required because the temperature is center of the plate. So then for that option, uh, for the center of plate, I'll go here, create XY data, ODB field output, so continue. And here I'm going to select unique nodal, select nodal temperature, and then in the element node, node set. So in the node sets, that is a center node. So I can plot its data or I can save its data. So that is now the temperature as 106.896 is the temperature at the center of the node. So I can save that. Okay, so here you can see that XY data is being saved there. Okay, like this one that data is being saved there. So the next one is uh, to plot temperature distribution. And for that, we need to create path and type is node layer. And for that purpose, here, I'm going to dismiss it, tools, and then path, create path from node list. Okay, the path name is top to bottom, let's say. Continue, and here in the part one, add before, and then you have here is top to bottom. So part one, top to bottom. Okay, and here are the nodes. So just to make sure that the sequence of nodes is okay, I'll Go to the common plot option, label, flow node label, apply. And you see that in the center one, it's one, then seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way. And the last is two. So it is in ascending order. So I'll just cut, uh, I'll just cut like two from here because it's not a sequence. And I'll paste there. 
so now you can see that it is start and that is end okay so another one path has been created now to plot distribution again you have to create xy data path continue and that is a top to bottom path and it is being plotted so now it is actually being plotted in the reverse order so the temperature at the surface like the top is 250 and at the bottom it is 54.749 and that is a temperature distribution so that is actually temperature distribution for for these nodes and if you want to plot anything else okay like as heat flux and that is a plot of the heat flux and the maximum value of that and the minimum value of that and on the horizontal axis is the distance or you can also plot that uh, because it's the y direction yes so that is its distance so in this way any results can be obtained or visualized so i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching you can leave comment for feedback